How's everyone doing? So I'm here with the 2019 Beta 125 RRS. And this is what it kind of looks like now. Kind of a update here, video update. I got my XR650R Nissan uh, master cylinder here. Works a lot better. And it bolts right up. This is a Gelfer, very old line. Again, from the XR650R. I needed a new one anyway, so I figured, well, if I'm taking off that bike, let's try it over here on the Beta. With the stock bars, this is how it looks. You're probably wondering what this is. That was what plugs in to turn on the a rear brake light when you pulled in. You know, they had it hooked to like a side type switchy. I bought a banjo and I'll just wire that into the banjo and put it in here. I'm just waiting on a generic one that I bought to give that a try. It's this, but generic. They've been making the XR650R master cylinder forever. So I figured a Chinese knockoff for a total of $17.10. Even if I have to buy a lover, say for 10, 12 bucks, is so cheap, why not just give it a try? The worst case is you can buy one of these OEM and because it's been used forever on the Honda, the Honda part is all like $170, $170. Now, if you look at KTM and other modern, like two strokes and other bikes, they're like $250, $300 for the master cylinder. So people, hey, if you end up breaking one on a different bike, you might just want to give this a try or the generic version. So we'll see if the generic version works then obviously i'll put that on the beta here i bought two new lines one for the xr when i move this back over and one for this bike and the xr line is perfect because it comes up to here don't mind my tape that's just because the coating on this is cracked and it goes down just fine due to you know how long the plastic sheathing was over the cable i just kind of cut it in half at first i was going to try undo this piece and i, I gave up because i'm getting a new line anyways it's like not even going to go there let's just i cut around it uh carefully and i did that with just heating up with a, a torch a map torch a knife that's insulated so i could hold it and just carefully went around and cut it that's all you have to do. But this being higher, I don't have to worry about this tucking in here and it's not blocking the view of the gauge as much because the other one being so low, it was like right across. I don't know, for me, this just seems better. I'd rather have extra than have it be so tight. I don't know why Beta did that, another weird cork. What else is new? Well, I got in some good stuff. So I got in some awesome stuff here. I got in a 13 tooth sprocket. You notice Beta just sells and I bought this from Beta for a whopping $24, I believe it was. It's just a JT sprocket. It's JTF1550. And if you look it up online, they use period. So 0.13 for 13 tooth or 14 or 15 whatever you want to order. Unfortunately, Beta is like the only one that has this plus KTMparts.com. And again, they both want like $24, $22, depending which site, but then they get you on the shipping. If I wanted to just order this one sprocket, Beta wanted for shipping $8 and some change. That's ridiculous. So at that point I was like, well, if I had a this big sprocket, a 62 tooth, which no one, and I don't know who actually makes this for beta, so I couldn't even go to the company. There's the part number. 65 tooth rear sprocket. The shipping total was 10 bucks. So I was like, well, I might as well order this one at the same time so I don't have a separate order later and waste another eight, nine dollars on shipping. So this is, a whopping $60. I don't know if it's really worth $60, but it is a very thick sprocket. Very thick through here. 
Yes. I'm not used to that, like on my other bikes. And as you know, the Beta comes with a 63 tooth. So this is 65, and now their option is a uh, 61. The other thing that I ordered was to make a case cover and skid plate. So I bought some Kydex. This is actually the side that would face out would be the matte finish. This side is the gloss side, which will go down over the part when I heat it up. And it's big enough. If I do a good enough job, probably just cut it in half, I can do a cover for each side, you know, figure it out, cut what I'm going to use, what I think is going to wrap over, and then just mount that right over. Now on this side, I know what you're going to say is, well, you have these access ports to line up your timing and stuff. So I'll have to think that through. Maybe use like double-sided tape or something like the good dual lock 3M tape and see if that holds and stays on. But this side isn't as important because there's no access. So this side, I don't know how much I want to cover or make two little separate ones like make one that covers this area like goes to there and around and use silicone caulk and plop it right on. Once I mold it, you use heat. So I'll probably lay the bike over, heat this up with a, maybe even in the oven initially. I don't know. There's different methods. And then maybe use a little piece to go over the uh, oil cover. Just add a little protection. And you know, it would just be a little guy. I would obviously have to auger out the Kydex in these spots so you could still access the eight mil bolt bolts. But you know, if you drop in a rock, it's there. There's some protection. I mean, you could still crack the behind if it's enough force, but you know, it's just add some protection. And I figured I've been wanting to do this anyways and see how this stuff works. And if it works really good, you know, I might kind of make some for other bikes down the road and what have you. And then I bought a sheet of 24 inch by 24 inch HDPE. The this side would be the side that goes outwards. I mean, I guess I could do the smooth side if I wanted. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's for a dirt bike. It's a quarter inch. And I've heard this works really good, so I got to see how I want to do it up under here. And this should be perfect. 24 by 24 should, should give me plenty of room to make wings and what have you. And this cost like $44, I believe. I forget what the Kydex cost. But the Kydex wasn't too bad because I don't need a huge sheet. Yet, if I start making various little things, then I will need more. But that's a lot cheaper than paying like 160 bucks for an aluminum skid plate. Although aluminum skid plate, you can just bolt right up. Now, what else I had to buy was an oil filter. Don't know if this one fits yet. Seems like it will. So I'll check that out. Get to that here at some point. But to mount the skid plate, I had to buy some of these clips, and those clips are for that spot right there. See, just like that, and they snap right in. I will have these in the in my description, video description, along with the screws. You'll be glad to know if you care about those things. This is made. Uh, where is it? This is made in the USA. So that's cool. I didn't realize that when I bought them. However, the uh, button flange button bolts are made in China. 
Okay, and I just got stainless. Hopefully that works. It's long enough, it should be. And they're stainless, so they won't rust. Potentially these clips could rust over time, I suppose. Um, that's for the gas gas. Here's the banjo bolt. Again, it's just a part made in China. See the Chinese characters up here, maybe. It's kind of faint, but yeah. So that's pretty much it with the beta I also have on the Voyager. I showed that in a picture. I don't know if I showed it in video that well. Um, mounts up here pretty good. The key's in the way. That's the other thing. Once I get the other bars, which are on order, and can mount up the highway dirt bike guards, I will then <laughs> probably remove this key and mount just an on off switch right here. It'd be like this. Highway Dirt Bikes makes this switch. So red button, black button, turn on, turn off. Yep, that's what I will be doing over here on the beta. And that should work out nicely. I mean, you really don't need this key. The only thing is you're gonna, one would still have to carry the key because you got a key here and you got a key spot here. I don't know why all the key spots. Now, a person has said, well, maybe it's for the street. Well, the 390, the 500, the 430, all come platable, or plated right off the dealer showroom floor, at least here in the US. So I don't understand, and they don't have all these key spots, so I don't understand why the 125. Maybe in Europe this is a big seller and being more used on the street. But here in the US, they could do away with this. And instead of wasting this spot, so dealing with the fuel that leaks everywhere, like I attached this to help, but I found out that this then does direct the fuel down here so it does work but then it runs down the backbone of the bike. And then you'll see it like out, out here. <laughs> um, if they just put a normal type cap on or made an aftermarket option tank, IMS, you guys made an aftermarket tank for this bike, put some wings on it. Maybe it's a three gallon tank total after it has a couple wings. That would be pretty cool. That would protect the radiators that would also also get rid of this area this would be more fuel and because it's a 125 it sips fuel so maybe this would be a 3.2 gallon or something i mean i don't know exactly once you you know mold in on the sides yeah that that could easily it could, might easily be like four gallons by the time you do that but you don't waste all this space with this key and it's plastic if somebody wants in here they just take a screwdriver and go boom Real quick, this isn't really going to stop any anybody. It's not even like a, a deterrent as far as um, walk up crime. <laughs> I bet if I pulled really hard, I could I could break this out. Now the seats a little more. That's in there good. A guy told me though that that will end up breaking, but it still kind of snaps into place and stays down. That seems silly. They do provide. The button just be like the bigger bikes give us a button there i don't think anyone in their right mind is worried about somebody coming here opening up the seat and what stealing the bike i mean the bigger bikes cost more you don't worry about it with them and they have plates but as you can see with the voyager or at least also in this billet their billet mount from trail tech it's a tight fit in here, and I don't like how tight it is. And the steering lock is somehow works off this big giant unit. It's a huge cylinder versus on the 390 and the 500. So just more stuff taking up a lot of room. Um, I don't see a benefit in to having a key. Again, I'll clean it up and I'll do it nice. And hopefully that just unplugs and I can just unplug the cylinder and you know toss it in the box of beta stuff if somebody wants to go back to it they can but i'll have the highway dirt bike 
switch air to turn on and off the bike. So there's just little things like that that's just kind of like, eh, you know, don't really need that beta. Don't understand why you have that. But that's where I'm at. Did my first oil change. You saw that video. Again, I didn't have the oil filter at the time. Uh, k and it was 740 I want to say. Like 8 bucks with tax, I think. I think. I'll put a link in the description. So you can go check out these products for yourself. The Like I said, though, the oil filter still needs to be tested. I went on k and site and put in the Yamaha engine. And that says for the WR125X, that oil filter, the KN-141, will work in this bike. It should. It looks like it's the right size so far. So from looks, just taking it out of the box, it looks good. So I'm hoping. Because that makes it easy. There was also some from china which i didn't notice but they wouldn't get here until august on amazon and it was a package of four for like 11 something free shipping but free shipping coming from china and it's gonna be august no thanks and they're generic i'd rather get k&n give them money it's a u.s company so we're good to go there the other thing that is a little annoying because i got rid of the dash the oem dash from beta is you know i don't know when the blinkers are on so just kind of have to randomly press that when i'm on the road to make sure i canceled them off not a huge deal it's just one of those things i'm not used to turn singles because i don't have turn singles on those bikes i got rid of them off the xr because kept breaking them anyways even small ones eh. I just use my hand. That's legal. <laughs> I do have brake lights and running lights. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. So, if that's the update. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get updates of when I have updates about this Beta 125 RRS. And I hope everyone is doing good in this time. And stay well, my friends. Have a good one. Bye.